Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is straight talk about Mars. For five years now, I've been studying these photos, and I am 100% convinced that there are structures, there are artifacts, and there are plants in the photos. Today, I'm going to deal primarily with the plants. How do you tell plants as opposed to just rocks. Well, it's actually pretty simple in many cases. You'll see an area that has that looks like a darkened patch over a light surface. And that darkened patch will appear to be a little fuzzy. That's because you're seeing plant growth. If you were to take a lightly uh, growing over a field and photograph it, scale them to uh, black and white, you'll see what I mean. I have a number of those photos ready to be shown. You have not been told the truth about that plant. You and I have been lied to. Now why are they lied to us? Well, that's a $64,000 question, isn't it? There's one thing I do know. We can't tolerate this any longer. You know, our country's bankrupt. They sold us down the river. We don't do something quickly to save it. We're going to be basically screwed. So, where does this lead us? Besides the plants, the obvious growth that I'm going to show the indisputable growth that I'm going to show. I'm sitting on some photos that will knock your socks off. There's two photos in particular. One of them shows dome-shaped objects with windows in them. Uh, I don't think rocks have windows in them. But the debunkers will tell you that they do. Um, I have another one, I really don't want to discuss it right now, but if I, we can get this on TV, it'll end the debate. I've already shown structures before, especially Spirit Soul 1192. We need to get that on TV, folks. We need to show the public the truth. That is clearly a building. Very old and dilapidated. But I can make out structural components in it. So there is no question. And a field full of plants on top of that. But I need your help. It's not money that I'm asking for. No. I want you to go to the press. I want you to study these pictures. I want you to take them to the press. Get them on TV. Get them in the newspapers. Get them in the magazines. We have to show the truth. We have to. Because it isn't the scientists that are going to tell us the truth. It's you and I that are going to tell us the truth. Because we have a corrupt scientific community out there. These people depend on government grants. Most of them do. And they know they'll lose all their status and they'll lose their grants if they tell the public the truth. That there's life on that planet and structures and artifacts. That's what'll happen. So, we have a good old boys club where they are not going to tell us the truth no matter what. It took NASA over four decades, or about four decades, to admit to the truth about the moon. That the moon has as much water on it, pound for pound, as the Earth does. Think about that. They've been lying about that for four decades. They told us the moon was just a big dust ball, and it's not. Now, if they lied about that for four decades... 
Isn't it conceivable they're lying about Mars? Well, they are. They said the th same thing about Mars before. It's just a big dust ball with no atmosphere, or very little atmosphere. But the official story is a lie. Now, I don't know how to convey this to people. I am sincere when I say that the official story is a lie. I'm not BSing you. I'm going to look straight in the camera. Hang on one sec. The official story is a lie. What you've been told about Mars is science fiction. You have not been told the truth. They continue to lie to you because they don't believe that you can handle it. They lied about the moon. They said the moon was a big dust ball. Now we know there's water on it. A lot of water. They're lying about Mars. There may even be an intelligence there, I don't know. But we have to demand the truth. I can't do it without you. Go to the press. Examine the photos. Bring out the best of the evidence. I'm willing to help people. Show them where it is. Look at my videos. There's plenty of evidence in my videos. When we can do that, will have them. Because nothing is stronger than the court of public opinion. And when the public sees the truth, they'll demand that they are told the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say. I'm Artifacts Mars, and that's my stump speech for today. I'm hoping that some of you will find a way to get this on the TV, get it in magazines, newspapers, any kind of media. Show the public the truth. They have to stop lying. You know, I have a brother who incidentally works for the government. He and I are at very serious odds with this issue. You know what the evidence he presents is? Which is totally unsatisfactory. He says, well, he knows somebody who says that there's nothing to all of us. That's your safe folks. That is totally unsatisfactory. It's not evidence. But this is what these people say is evidence. It's a rock. Now, I know somebody who says that there's nothing to this. I know somebody on the inside, and they, that's hearsay. It's useless. Demand the truth. I'm hoping I can get somebody, anybody, to help me out with this. I don't have any money. I'm not asking for any money. I'm asking for your help. Get it on the TV. Get it on the radio. Anything. Demand the truth. Because Cosmic Watergate has got to go. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars and this is Disclosure. Coming to you from my real-life headquarters in western New York. Today we're going to look at Spirit Soul 1116. Really what, all we're going to look at is a patch of vegetation in the photo. A very odd little patch of vegetation. Here's the original photo. There's more to this photo than just a uh, little metal that we're going to show, but I'm going to be satisfied with that for the time being. When you see a patch of vegetation out in the wild, and you photograph it, and you scale it to gray, you're going to see kind of a fuzzy appearance. That's what you got in this photo. Uh, plants have too many edges, and stems and leaves and everything else so they it, they appear fuzzy in a photo you can do the same thing with a digital camera just photograph it and look at it 
scale it to gray and you'll see the same thing. Here's a little metal like I promised. Uh, notice how you have bare patch of ground up at the top of the photo and then you see where you have this darkened area. When you zoom in on the darkened area you can see there are literally thousands of stalks there. This is a classic ground cover type pattern. You, know, you see this on the earth all the time. You'll find a bare patch of ground then right beside it will be a patch of ground that's covered with a uh, ground cover type plant like this one. I wish I would have gotten closer so we can examine this plant in more detail. It appears to be an upright type of plant though as opposed to one that was spread out across the ground of viney type plant. Alright, I put the arrow at the top shows uh, one of the best areas in the photo where you can see the stalks actually going across other objects. So we're not, we know this isn't an optical illusion or something like that. No sir. This is plant growth and it's on Mars. I need your help. It's not money that I'm asking for. I'm asking for people to demand truth. This is clear and obvious vegetation. There's nothing else that can explain it. Rocks can't explain it because those would be much clearer in the photo. In fact, you can see many of them right through the patch. No, sir. Rocks can't explain it. Volcanic glass can't explain it. This is vegetation. I'm artifacts of Mars. I need your help in disclosing this. I approve this message. Thank you for your kind attention.